probably. Damn, everything is open now. The second floor! Which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh? I didn't notice this before. There's a small stamp on one corner of the tarp. It says, Biolab? And this originally came from the Biolab. It's like, abnormally cold. I feel like I'm gonna try to I just we find the body and then we actually see the face for once. Oh boy. And it's Seriously. Junko's corpse. Why is it so cold? I don't know. Okay, of everything. Gotta do this room again. Just nice. This is the headmaster's room. I've heard an awful lot about it, but this will be my first time seeing it for myself. I don't even think you remember you can't you can't get ahead in the wines because I don't think you remember most of what Bialkia said, do you? Nope. <laughs> ah, Makoto, it's you. Dio oh. <laughs> Bialkia. You are also Dio. This is the I'm gonna save now, so at least Damn. we're not gonna lose progress again. We're not gonna lose our Dio. There are documents scattered all over the floor. Somehow it makes me feel anxious. There are trophies e and even a shield in on the display case. I mean in, not on. Even in the headmaster rooms there's a monitor. But if even in the headmaster's room, there's a surveillance camera. The bookshelf seems very well made, and it's filled with files and thick books. Come on. I'm touching the book. Biakia. Don't touch the book. Biakia. Don't touch not the thick happy. books. Hey, Magoda. Not possible. Are you ignoring me? Do you think I'll forgive that just because you're you? Such ignorance. Yeah. When we get out of here, remember this moment. Right. Hey, Bakuya. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you. You want to tell me about something? Well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? Reaction? Oh no! <laughs> what do you mean something interesting? Okay, sorry. Uh, take a look at this. Bro, what are you doing in that stream chat? Stop doing Destiny quotes. <laughs> it was on top of that pathetically ostentatious desk. 
class number 78, student registry. So, so that says Wasto, actually? What? It contains what? profiles for all of us. And Mokuo. Bruh. What are you fucking with me for? Yeah, we're just gonna completely try and replicate what we already did. <laughs> so, in other words... No, I, I just have the same jokes. I'm yeah. just a basic bitch. Hey, you hit the restart button, so I'm doing what I did before. <laughs> Apparently, class number 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room... I see. That's right, it also mentioned class number 78, and that she failed sex. <laughs> I don't know how you fail that. This must be where Kyoko got that page. I guess I have to. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in there, along with her. There can be no doubt, Mokuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Mokuro Ikosawa, the 16th student. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. But it seems that Kyoko was in the hurt. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. Somebody liked one of my activities. No, oh, no, someone's on a liking spree of my things. The uneven tearing, the way the paper had been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Well, since she s snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? <laughs> Man, the BGM's rocking out. Look at those things go. She was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. The first page? <laughs> Correct, Mokuro's profile actually contains two pages. What? So in other words... In other words, when it comes to this profile... There was more information about Mokuro that we still didn't have. Reaction. What kind of information is it? I am coming back now. Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? I probably should have, I, I could have guessed that line probably. Probably. Yeah. I didn't even try, I probably should have. <laughs> it seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. <laughs> 
Yeah, the other one can come in whenever she wants. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left such an interesting clue. I was half listening to Bayaki as I skimmed through the report. Muguro reappeared suddenly, and in the background, an entity floats, close but just out of reach. The entity known as the Ultimate Despair. This is of course the first time we get to see her picture. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling okay, about oh. all this. Hmm? I just, I'm glad we're actually back here because I want to make a point. Okay, but hold on. Okay. Make the point. <laughs> okay. If you think you're so, not, if you want to get to this, of telling the viewers what we don't, what they don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, so, each of these, each of these pages for the students are two pages, right? Mm-hmm. So each page is, should be an even number. It's two, 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 two. It's all even. Yeah. Meaning that the pages with the pictures on them for each student should both be facing the same way in the binder. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, I mean, Mukuro is... Why is always paper backwards? Yeah, you know what? It is backwards no matter what. Yeah! <laughs> Even though Mukuro's, like, info was torn out, the info is probably on the back anyway. Like you, no, yeah, because the because the info was um was backwards. It was on the backwards side. Yeah, you're gonna get the picture. So the and info the was on the stuff. back of the page. Why what the is fuck? always backwards? That's not right. Oi, why are you backwards? I have a bad feeling about all of this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. We have a bad feeling that this guy's binder's fucked up. And I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior. I don't know. Maybe the Japanese people do it like this. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars, and her bias factor was not running out either. <laughs> Damn! The fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. She has devoured many, many Shios. <laughs> nice. Naturally, I want to believe yeah, in her. Yeah, what's up? She's one of my students, after all. Possibly. But if I decide she's as hey, dangerous as your students, whoop. Yeah, you continue reading all of your lines, I, I have to go do something real quick, okay? Okay. I'll okay. be right back. Forced to take all reasonable measures. Mukuro was part of the ultimate despair? I don't think there can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean Mukuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why? Why would they kill Mukuro? Plus, even the Headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Mukuro was capable of. They would have had to take him completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or maybe it means the Mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. Uh, shut your damn mouth. Your yoo hoos are ass anyway. <laughs> what? What's wrong, Mukuro? Huh? That's fine. I don't think you appreciate the Yoohoo's, Makoto. <laughs> you seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point this one other thing out. You've triggered my trap card! Damn. I don't know what I'm gonna do against this Yu Gi Oh reference. Damn! You mean JoJo weapons? Oh no! There's another important bit of information within that file that you should note. What is it? She ain't blonde! <laughs> that ain't a Junko in there. <laughs> Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl, perhaps, you've never seen before. Yeah, she looked like a girl out of the 1990s animes.
A girl who seems to be included as part of our class number 78. Yeah, she looks like a chick who would chop her balls off. Yeah, she looks like she's into, uh, cutting ball torture. <laughs> There's probably already a 3D animation of a foot job. Uh. <laughs> that should be enough uh, for you to figure out who the girl is. Why, of all things. <laughs> of all things. You know she looks like she would be one of those people, you know it! You know oh, no. it's true! <laughs> you cannot deny the truth! Oh. And further information about that girl is included in the file. Five foot, seven inches, ninety-seven pounds, and it even lists her vitals. Now this, this is where I gotta, I gotta, you can't exactly get my information, but all I can tell you is first time we got to this part, I laughed like a maniac. Because it fucking matches up. I want to know why her chest is, 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 is her vitals. Yeah. And I, I'd only gone to this because of something Zach had a long time ago that I did, and it reminded me of having to like check height, weights, and vitals and stuff like that. And this, it matches the fuck up. It's like, it, this can't be a coincidence. Oh, it could. There's no way this is a fucking coincidence. Nobody else has that height. Incomplete. It, it's not. Nobody else is complete in that whole thing. Junko. Yeah, but we're also missing a page in our report cards too. We don't have 16. Yeah. Maybe Mukuro never existed. <laughs> or she probably maybe there maybe Junko is two people. Look, this right here is is gonna make. Look, before I was just playing it up as a joke, and then I started getting serious on it because my theories sometimes just end up being real anyway, and this is starting to further solidify that I might as well stick with my theory that Junko is the mastermind. Because... There's something here. Why does this ma- Why do these two profiles completely match up? There, there's no, there's, there cannot be a coincidence here. There's no way. They're just two girls, who are exactly the same height, weight, and chest. We're not having that right here. Or well, are we? Maybe. But I, I. Mm, mm. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh my God! Is Bioka gonna fucking tell us this? I'm probably. Tell us well, we what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? Stop talking. You hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Bro, it's already in my mind. It's been in my mind Damn. before you even got to say this wine. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse, and maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean? Wait, is he trying to say... There's a chance the body isn't actually Mukuro's? Is that what he's trying to say? Man, it's not like we fucking figured it out! <laughs> God damn, boy! It's not like it all... Oh. Damn, boy! He's sick, boy! <laughs> <laughs> No wonder his head's so big. He got a brain in there! Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible. But it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear now. Oh, he's got your theory. 
He's... He's got it. <laughs> I'm Bahakia if I wasn't an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I was trying to say. But what... What you do with that information is your business. So I'm I back had to... the dyslexia there for a sec, don't worry. <laughs> so I'm back to being Bahakia's errand boy. Hey, it's the same with me. Anytime someone reads lines, you fuck up multiple times. That's why I got very comfortable when having you play this with me, and Winston was even doing it, and you guys messed up multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. It's a bit of advice for me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. Reaction? Advice? For me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoto quite well. It's not that we're getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. Hm. Is this man trying to put down my trust in best girl? Well, don't work. put too much faith in her. Huh? In other words. The cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. W what are you saying? <laughs> What are you saying? <laughs> Just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch? But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't as you will. Yeah. Yes, of course, because you've always been proven right in the trials. Yeah. I'll keep it in mind, thanks. You've always been right, haven't you? Hey, Byakia. I don't have time to play with you. I don't have time to waste on you right now. If you absolutely must talk, go do it at Toko. Yeah, but like, I talked to Toko and she like, had a mental breakdown, so... <laughs> <laughs> God, he's so blunt. It just makes you feel hopeless. Oh, Bakia! He's the ultimate despair! Apparently that's us. It was profiles on me and everyone I met at the beginning of Mukuro. Just like us, Mukuro was apparently a new student here at Hope's Peak. Mukuro Ikusaba. Part of the ultimate despair. Which means her and the Mastermind should have been allies. But then, why would the Mastermind kill her? Weren't they friends? God, this is one of the moments where I want to look through the whole fucking registry! We need Junko's profile! Income. We need the complete profile. You damn fool! Where's the control room? Oh, where the fuck am I? This is the control room. The Monokuma room! Hey, oi. Hey, Makoto! Uh, Makoto, are you here to look around too? Is that what you're doing here? Mm. Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. So I figured, if all the doors in the school had been unlocked, that one should be open too, right? Hey. Although, I couldn't bring myself to open it. Cause it might explode, right? And that really suck. So, you open it. I'm sure she didn't mean it. But she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. Okay. Okay, so, uh... I guess I'll open it. Oh wait, let me take cover first. I don't want to get exploded. 
Hina raced over to a nearby desk and hid underneath it. Okay, go ahead! Uh, everything will be okay, right? Alright, here goes nothing. I threw all my weight onto it, but the door opened much easier than I expected. So I fall in? What? Uh, is this the Monokuma Control Center? There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was... Whoa! This place is totally sci-fi! Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Monokuma. What is this device? Looks like some kind of control panel. It's really over the top, though. Like some kind of military installation or something. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? Hifumi would probably freak, freak out if he saw it. Cockpit? So the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. Then could that mean... Okay. Alright, let's start by poking at it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Hold on, you can't just do that or whatever. Something... Wait, wait, hold on. Nah, that doesn't even work. Hold on, you can't just... Or whatever, something like this. But it was too late. Hina was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I, I think it came from the other room. Hina, what did you push? I, I'm not totally sure, but... I think it was that one. The button that says Data Center? Oh my god, no. Has the whole time... We know... I mean, it's strange that Monokuma kind of pops up out of nowhere, but is the Mastermind really just pushing a button that says this room, that room, and Monokuma just teleports in there? <laughs> kind of thought he just waltzed in, but no, he's teleporting in. <laughs> nice. Data Center. I mean, it did make the true sound that pops up when he comes around. I take a good look at the control panel, and I saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of a room next to it. And just like Hina said, there was one labeled data center. That might, must be the one she pushed. But the data center, that's right next door. The room we were just in. That's where the strange noise came from. I probably better, I probably better go check it out. Yes, please. I'm kind of scared out of my mind right now, so I'll just, uh, chew you one from over here. Hey, you hold up, oh, hold up for a sec. Hold up. Hey! Let me How are you? Now. I can see Monokuma will be in here, yes? Did I just hear what I think I heard? Yep, I knew it. Is that Monokuma? Hey! <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I know why is auto on. Turn that off! What the fuck? Hold on. Fucking thing. Oh, was auto on? <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing the car. Give me all your donuts! <laughs> Is that you, Hina? Oh, should I still. Because it's still coming out of Mokuma. What? Oh man, busted! How'd you know? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of setup? You don't even know what you're controlling? Hello. Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from uh, from here. Found it. Ah, guess what I found? A self-destruct button. Whatever you do, do not push it. Oh man, were you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. The room has Monokuma drawing on it, and the control panel inside. Wait, 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 wait. So... <laughs> you're gonna try and tell me that if Junko is the true mastermind, she's not an amazing voice actress, that she couldn't sound like some weird male bear? Uh... I feel like the bear just kinda has... Its own Voice modification, I'm gonna be honest. Seems it does. Whoa, hey Makoto. What the heck was that just now? Monokuma. Huh? What do you mean? What you were controlling just now. It was Monokuma. Monokuma? What? For real? Yep, it looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma. 
which means the mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they were definitely in here. The mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And this control room is totally separate from the data center area with all the monitors. In other words, hey. maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Kyoko's theory was right. But if the mastermind's been controlling Monokuma from here, that means that they've been inside the school this whole time, right? Hmm. Okay. If... If Junko... Is, if we're saying Junko is the mastermind... And she got killed because she was assaulting the Monokuma doll. And it was mobile. Are we to say oh, that Muguro was... Okay, do you think Muguro was actually here or not? Because... I think at one time, possibly. Because we could put it like this. Muguro, say she's working along... She's working alongside the Mastermind, of course. That's what we've been hearing. If that has to be true. She is working alongside the Mastermind. And they were in the room controlling Monokuma at that time when Junko is quote-unquote killed. killed. After mm -hmm. that, After Junko that, has Junko free control to control everything without ever having to disappear. disappear. Because she's already she's dead. Already. No one will be looking for her, ever. Still would raise the question of what the fuck happened to Mukuro. Yeah, yeah, think, think Junko's kinda just dead, my man. I am not crazy. <laughs> 